The End is Nigh is a platforming adventure video game developed by Edmund McMillan and Tyler Glayell. The game was released on July 12, 2017 on Microsoft Windows via Steam. Ports of the game were released on August 15, 2017 on Mac OS and on December 12, 2017 for GNU, Linux and Nintendo Switch, with a port for the PlayStation 4 and PlayStation Vita in development. The game has been described as a spiritual successor to Macmillan's Super Meat Boy. Gameplay and synopsis The End is Nigh is a platforming adventure game where the player controls Ash, a small black blob. The game's intro shows Ash live streaming a retro-styled version of the game with the same name, allowing the player to play through it. Upon the player's death, the game within a game crashes, and Ash tries to salvage the cartridge by taking it out of the console and blowing on it, with no success. The next day, Ash writes a letter explaining his current situation and the state of the world, stating that there was an apocalypse, with himself being the only survivor. With his favorite game cartridge broken, Ash sets out into the world to make a friend, and repopulate the world. The game is divided into 600-plus single-screen interconnected levels, forming 12-plus chapters. The objective of the game is to clear the platforming challenges of each screen and proceed to the next, exploring the world and collecting items along the way. Collectible items include tumors, which unlock bonus levels, and video game cartridges, which unlock minigames. The game also features several hidden extras and endings, as well as achievements. In the best friend ending, Ash creates a friend and has a party with him, saying how he likes his new friend. Ash asks him if he likes him the same way, with a piece of paper and water hitting, no. Then, Ash wakes up to another apocalypse. In the acceptance ending, Ash leaves his friend to explode, while he escapes and hides from explosion. When the explosion goes off, he looks outside and smiles. In the nevermore ending, Ash becomes part of a world as he talks. On the world, Stephen from Time FC UK and the binding of Isaac walking on him. Topic. Development and release The End is Nigh began development as the product of a game jam in December 2016. After a year of developing a platforming shooter game titled Ouroboros, developers Edmund McMillan and Tyler Glayell decided to refocus the concept, as not much progress had been made on the game. While developing Ouroboros, Macmillan and Glayell would take small breaks to prototype other ideas, and in December 2016 both committed to do a full game jam to explore these concepts. Within the first week, they had developed a platformer with open world and adventure game elements. Macmillan described it as feeling, a bit like VVVVVV meets 1001 Spikes with a spelunky control setup and it felt perfect. Macmillan and Glayel continued to work on the game in secret for the next few months, and it was officially revealed and announced on June 7, 2017, only about a month before its planned release date. Macmillan announced the game shortly before its release due to wanting to avoid the game becoming vaporware, as had been the case for some of his previously announced titles like Mew Genix and Super Meat Boy, Forever, until it was taken over by another team and due for release in 2018. On the completed game, Macmillan stated that The End is Nigh is the largest game, level-wise, that he's worked on, and embodies aspects of every game that he's created. The game features voice acting by Rich Evans of Red Letter Media and the game's music was composed by Ridiculon. Macmillan later stated that he felt The End is Nigh was a cathartic experience for him. Prior to its development, he had been working on The Binding of Isaac, Rebirth and its expansions for several years, and had found the development to be an onus on his time, as well as having poor experiences with other developers. He had been considering leaving the game development market, which influenced some of the direction that the end as Nye took. He used the theme of perseverance as a core element of the game, helping him to resolve his own personal concerns, and as a result, Macmillan felt the end as Nye was his best work. The game was originally released on July 12, 2017 on Microsoft Windows via Steam. Ports of the game were released on August 15, 2017 on Mac OS and on December 12, 2017 for GNU, Linux and Nintendo Switch, with a port for the PlayStation 4 and PlayStation Vita in development. Topic. Reception 
The game received generally favorable reviews, according to review aggregator Metacritic. Patrick Klepek of Vice praised the game's challenging nature and its emphasis on exploration, while Zero Punctuation's Ben Croshaw noted that, I don't get a sense that there'll be any reward for putting myself through the trials, though later praised the game's design. 